This week, the NYPD was investigating the brutal rape of a 73-year-old woman in Central Park at Strawberry Fields. Now, there have been a number of headline-making incidents like this. The NYPD insists that New York City is still the safest big city in America, statistically. But some of these incidents may be affecting the perception of personal safety. So the debrief has come up here to IKM Krav Maga School on the Upper West Side. And the reason we're here is because this is Dawn Nadu. Dawn, you reached out and said this kind of crime in Central Park this week, this alleged crime, and others like it have prompted people like you to take up self-defense classes. Explain what's going on in your circles. You're an Upper West Side mom. Right. I'm a mom. I live on the Upper West Side. And I have heard again and again stories about a girl trying to be kidnapped, a woman raped in broad daylight, uh, people being groped on the subway. You're hearing it again and again. And um, I decided to take my interest of fitness and look into self-defense a little more specifically and found Krav Maga um, here on 100th Street at Broadway. And I love it. It's a great community. And I I've learned some real techniques to try and make myself feel a little safer, God forbid, where I ever in a situation where I might have um, be able to take my instinct to save myself a little bit further and uh, hopefully get away. And you joined it, what, recently? And have you talked to other women, other people who have joined as well recently? Absolutely. I joined, you know, just a couple months ago, mm -hmm. and I've seen every week more and more uh, people are joining. They're both co-ed and women's classes, and there's also kids' classes, which for me is important being a mom. Um, um, and I, I see that a lot of people are taking their personal safety more seriously and are trying to make sure that they know what they can do if somebody approaches them. And you feel they're reacting to some of these headlines, some of the things in the news? I do. I think uh, when we're out in the waiting room talking before class starts, people are saying, yeah, did you hear about that? Or this guy on the subway or, you know, um, everybody has a personal story and it's, it's a shame that that's the way it is. But. Let, let me turn to Sahih Shemesh, who runs the school here. Sahih, welcome to the debrief. Uh, are you seeing an increase in the number of people coming wanting to take classes and what are they saying when they come? Definitely, definitely. I see a lot of people, new people every week and surprisingly not only civilians, you can see a lot of law enforcement people uh, that just feel that it can't really handle a violent situation in the street if something like that really happens. Now, explain to viewers what Krav Maga is and why people who gravitate towards Krav Maga do so. So Krav Maga, it's uh, not a martial arts, it's uh, self-defense based on instinct. That's, that's why it's relatively easy to learn and you gain knowledge quite quickly. More practical, is that word? More practical, they say, for street fighting and getting out of certain situations. And in fact, J.C. De Los Rios, a photographer, you can see a class going on as I talk to you. Uh, for example, now this was a 73-year-old woman in Central Park, or you look at Dawn, who's a small woman. Do they have a shot against a big, hulking person? And you're saying Krav Maga may be, I don't know, more effective than other martial arts, but certainly practical? Certainly more effective, yes, because it's based on instinct. There are no forms that we follow just to say, I did that right. The only rule in Krav Maga is to stay safe. And we actually have students that are older than 73 years old, they're taking classes and they do well. The issue, Dawn, is do you you feel safer. I know you're not going to go on and take on situations, but you are you gaining a confidence in feeling safer that if you were in a situation. And look, this we talk about this crime that happened, other crimes happening on the West Side, wherever you are. Do you feel something? Absolutely. I think the first thing that you do is you raise your awareness, and then you begin to come up with techniques um, to match that awareness. I absolutely feel uh, more confident and that I'd be better able to defend myself were someone to approach me. And you mentioned family. You got the kids involved. Yeah, absolutely. Both my daughters signed up for the kids' class. Um, I think raising kids in New York City, is a, as you know, is a really uh, different thing. We have to acknowledge the fact that not everybody has good intentions, and I want to arm my daughters with tools so that they can hopefully be more aware and have the confidence to say no very loudly and then maybe have one or two techniques to get away if they need to. Well, there you have it. And, of course, there's a debate to be had whether the media covers too much of the crime or whether it covers certain crimes in certain neighborhoods, and that may be a debate well worth having. In fact, maybe we'll have it on the debrief. Reach out to us on Facebook, but no question here that some people, again, becoming more aware about personal safety given some of the recent headlines. We'll be right back on The Debrief.